Good afternoon, YouTube. It's man all the way, George Page, coming to you live, live on YouTube. Well, I saw this yesterday. I saw this today while I was on um, social media. Uh, I was, you know, just, you know, surfing. And I saw that yesterday was the birthday of one of my favorite comedians. That is Dave Chappelle. And Dave Chappelle is just, I, you know, he, he changed, I think he changed the face of comedy. I mean, you know, you're always going to know him for his comedy and, and stuff he's put out. I mean, his content. And he's also, he has a conscience. You know, that's about him. You know, back in around about 2005, 2006, he walked away from the Chappelle show. And, you know, and I was just, I mean, wow, he, he could, I'm still thinking about what could a Chappelle show would have been if he kept on going. I mean, you know, his, his stuff was just so pretty good, but we all know what was his show. So anyway, now Dave was born August 24th, 1973. And he grew up originally, I think he was born originally, he grew up in, I think, Ohio, I believe. You know, he, you know, he was born in D.C., but he grew up in Ohio. And, um, you know, his, you know, his, you know, his parents, um, his dad, his dad, uh, David, William David Chappelle III, he was a professor, uh, he was a vocal performance, he was a dean of students. And his mother, uh, Yvonne Sean, you know, who, who, uh, well, she was Chappelle, but she got married, worked as a, you know, consulate for a prime minister. And um, she was a very educated woman. He came from an educated background. I mean, you know, he just grew up, you know, and right about the, um, you know, Early '90s, late um, '80s, Dave started doing comedy. Uh, you know, and he uh, worked in some clubs here and there, and you know, he really found success. I mean, he, you know, he was very funny. I mean, you know, he worked in New York. He was mostly based in D.C. and he worked in New York. And you know, his first uh, time on television was the American Film um People. You know, remember the show with Dave Coulier and uh, originally um, or was Eileen Shorkin? Then he got uh, Candy Tanny Katane. I don't think she, that didn't fit for her. I, she kept Eileen. Eileen's a lot friendlier. And, you know, Dave did a lot of comedy here and there, you know, and his career, it was just, he, was, he did a lot of shows. He worked with a lot of people. He, he gained a lot of respect. And, you know, he uh, had done quite a few movies during his time. Um, one of his first movies was the movie uh, Robert Hood, Man in Tights. You remember, with, you know, Carrie Airwage, and it was a Mel Brooks movie. And he played the, uh, kind of like the character um, that um, Morgan Freeman played in the um in the Robin Hood movie with uh, Kevin Costner in the way, the the, the, the Moorish dude. And, um, you know, he did a lot more stuff, you know. Later on, he uh, one of his big movie premieres was he was in the uh, movie with uh, the great Mr. Eddie Murphy. You know, he was, you know, uh, what's going on right here? It's not right. And um, he starred in, um, you know, uh, the, the Professor, you know. I should have been flushing it, but David, I should have been moving some of these stuff, but I got so into the conversation. And then later on, he worked with, you know, people like, uh, you know, with um, Nick um, Nick Cage in the movie Con Air. And also he worked with uh, another former comedian, great actor, Tom Hanks. And he, you know, he then he got his... Uh, Movie star debut in the movie Half Baked. You remember that? You know uh, <laughs> that one friend, what's the face, Scarface. You know he was a Q and B, and you tell him like F you, F you, F you, and you know, and you cool. <laughs> it was a crazy movie. And they also worked with another great legend, Martin Lawrence, in the movie Blue Street. That was around 1999. But as I said, Ken, you know, he was he, his first TV show, first time with him and his co-star from Half Baked, Jim Brewer, was the movie Buddies. It was a, a series that was produced by. Um, Tim Allen, you know, from Home Improvement. But the series didn't last long and got canceled. So like I said, Dave was doing movies, he's doing stand-up. And then in 2003, he got the series Chappelle Show for comic for the Comedy Channel, you know. And, you know, it was a pretty good show. I mean, and one of his most favorite skits is Rick James. I'm Rick James, bitch. I'm Rick James. I mean, it, I love that, you know, was it with Charlie Murphy's Two Hollywood Stories. And, you know, it was just a great skit. I mean, even, I remember watching it, you know, with Charlie Murphy and Rick James telling a story because, you know, you know, it's, it, it made, that what made it so great when Rick James was there telling his part, you know, you know, and then, you know, he did Art Kelly and also he did Prince <laughs> with the pancakes. And this is true stuff. People, you know, I, I did a video about Prince. Prince used to play ball when he was young and they had that ball game. I think it's true because, you know, you know, it's just, you can't, you just can't fix him like that. I mean, you know, and then you can't forget his characters like, um, Tyrone, you know, Biggins, you know, I smell crap. I mean, and plus the Chappelle show gave opportunity for artists and hip hop, um, in the hip hop culture to perform. I mean, he had DMX right here. He had most death. He was on quite a few episodes. Kanye West. I mean, a lot of hip hop artists. 
perform at his show. I mean, I remember he had Eric Badu on there. And, you know, I love Eric Badu. I mean, you know, especially that booty. <laughs> and then, you know, there was a situation that happened where about in 2006, they walked away from the show. And for a while, people was wondering what happened, what going on. And there was a situation which between Dave and the producers. And, uh, you know, he was one of the producers, but mostly between, um, you know, heads head of the shows. And he felt like he needed to walk away. And he went to Africa, you know. And then, you know, he started back back on just doing stand up again. And I was thinking, you know, they, you know, just love his stand up. I mean, he just, he really does conscious com- comedy. And, you know, and there was that, the, his, one of his recent, um, comic shows where people were so up against this, but he just was, you know, trying to push back against, you know, reality and the fact of, uh, how the culture of, of comedy is changing. And also he made a, he starred on an episode of, uh, Saturday Night Live. And that was back in 2016, right about the time you were, we know what happened when the world, came tumbling down. <laughs> and it was a crazy, it was a skit with him and uh, Chris Rock where it's people's house when they, uh, you know, watching the election. That was crazy. And Dave, like I said, has been very political. He's been very, he's, you know, he's about um, the rights of other people. He's about, you know, equality. He, he's very, he stands up for what he believes in. And you got to respect Dave about that. I mean, you know, he's conscious, you know, and people just, see people get this idea of, you know, calling it woke. No, it's not, calling, it's not being woke. It's about being reality, how it affects us, especially in our community. Because, you know, and he stands up, you know, he, he even shots, he calls out people like Candace Owens, who is, we all know, is a clown for the uh, GOP. And she just, they, 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 the horse gets taught around. So like, hey, this black person believe we believe in. But Dave, he, he really stands up in for the truth. And 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 just, just he just he just has that, you know, you have to respect him for that. And he's earned respect from people in the world of comedy. He's like Chris Rock and, you know, Chris Tucker and, you know, and, and Kevin Hart. I mean, you know, and, and, and superstar celebrities like, you know, Samuel Jackson and, and Will Smith. That's right there. Dougie Fresh right there. That's still, he still has a touch with hip hop. As you know, you know, you know, Kanye West and you have a chance to rapper. I mean, that's what, what I love about the Chappelle show. It was one of the few shows outside of maybe our senior hall that gave hip hop opportunity to, um, you know, to form to be seen. And, you know, and he was cool with Prince. You know, he's, he's him sitting at a, at, a, at, a, at, a, at a basketball game. I mean, RIP to the to the purple one. I was, I'm still a fan of Prince. When I, people would say, who's better, Michael or Prince? I'm going to say Prince. And, you know, his last movie was in 2018. We was the uh, remake to Star Born. And, you know, they, he, every so often he'll, he'll, he'll do something, a, a, passion, a, a, a project because either he likes the person he's doing it for, or he just do it for the passion of it. And Dave, as you know, he also has done a, a Saturday Night Live again, where Eddie Murphy made his return um, uh, back in 2019, you know, and he was there with him, Eddie, uh, you know, Chris, you got, uh, right here you have um, my man, um, uh, uh, oh God, I hate the, uh, ooh, what? Uh, oh, what, Tracy Morgan, Tracy Morgan, <laughs> brother man, you know, you know, you know, so, you know. <laughs> It's also man, you know, and they also remember it was Keen Keen Tom stepped in for me. One, one guy got one kind of man, and he came back again in um, last year. And you know, I love the you know, Dave is just I love his skits, and I love his performance. He's just so funny and so genuine. I mean, he's just he's just that type of dude. And you know, he's been married to his wife Eileen for quite some time. He's a loving husband and a father. He has three kids, uh, you know, with her. And um, he really is just supportive. I mean, a great dad and a great man. And, you know, he, like I said, he still earns respect to a lot of the com- comics he, he has traveled with, that he's performed with, been on stage with. I mean, recently, it was some time ago, he won, he got awarded the, um, the, the Mark Twain Award. And that was the same award that a while back Eddie Murphy got awarded. And you know what? He earned that. You know, he has earned a lot of, a lot of his awards and a lot of his, uh, you know, his certificates. He has earned respect. Of a lot of people, some people might not like his comedy, but I think it's just it's just genuine, you know. But like I said, you know, and he's also he still smokes. <laughs> I'm not talking about weed. He likes cigarettes, you know. And Dave is just that type of guy. I mean, he's just he's just a great comic, a great person, a great man. I mean, you know, I'm a fan of Dave Chappelle. I still like to watch some of his uh, comedies. I mean, sometimes I check on YouTube. He, you know, I watch some of his old. Uh, the Chappelle Show episodes or some stuff he did right back. I mean, like the one he talked about um, <laughs> uh, Sesame Street. <laughs> All you got to do is go on YouTube and you can find it. I remember somebody, what he did was it took episodes of Naruto 
and, 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 and mix it in with one of the Dave Chappelle skits. I will find it. I'll put in the, the link in the description. You should check it out. It is funny. But anyway, this is to wish a great comedian, a great man, you know, a real, um, you know, a real legend in this uh, sport. And it's not sport. And this is a uh, entertainment, a comedy. And just, I mean, he's just, he's a guy that a lot of people will aspire to be. So happy belated birthday to one Mr. Uh, David Kieran, you know, Chappelle. You know, this is me always. I'm George Page. Um, like, don't like, subscribe, don't subscribe. I'm out. Happy birthday, Dave.